This is amazing. Check this out. Turn off lights. It's executing, starting the action, allow, and it's running, and it turned off my lights. I'm going to say turn on light and click enter. Now it's executing, starting action. I'm allowing the request and it's talking to the URL and you can see it's working behind the scenes and it turned on the light. The light has been turned on. I used custom GPT, integrated that with my home appliance like light bulb and make it work. That's exactly what we are going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about integrating custom GPT with your home appliance, such as turning on light, turning on your fridge, turning on your TV, and much more. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos on my YouTube channel in regards to artificial intelligence. So do subscribe and stay tuned. These are the steps involved in creating the application. So first we are going to create a custom GPT. Then we are going to host a public application. Then we are going to run another private application which is connected to Hue Bridge. First, let's create GPT. Going to chat.openai.com and click the explore button here. After that, create a GPT. I'm going to type, this will control lights at home. It gave me a name, Lumina controller, and it gave me a logo. I'm going to save this. Now the first step is done. Now I'm going to create an application and host it in replit.com. So it's a basic Flask application. The app equals Flask. And I'm going to have a root with the home folder returning hello world and then slash light defining control light. And this will send a post request to the public IP address slash light and return a response. After this, if name main, then host equals 0, .0, .0. This will automatically run the Flask application. What is this public IP address? That is your router's IP address. You can find that by typing in Google, what is my IP address? or type curl ifconfig.me to find your public IP address and replace that here. Then you can copy this and paste it in Ripplet. Go to ripplet.com, click create ripple and then choose Python and then give a title name and click create ripple. I have already covered Ripplet in a separate video step by step. I will link that in the description below. Now I've copied my code in the main.py file. Next create a file called requirements.txt and type flask there. That is a requirement to run this application. Then you can click the play button. This will automatically deploy your application in Ripplet. You can see the response hello world here. Now we have completed GPT and hosted our public application in Ripplet.com. This works as a proxy to connect to our local computer. Now we are going to create our local application in our local computer. This will connect to Hubridge to control our lights. For our private application, we are going to use Flask as well from Flask import flask request. Now you're going to include hue SDK and import hue. App equals flask name. Next we are going to give hue equals hue bridge IP, then the bridge IP address and the username. Where we can find this bridge IP address? This is how the hue bridge will look like. You connect this with your home router. This will enable your hue appliances to be able to control remotely. I will provide a link in the description below about the Hue bridge which I bought and I install at home so that you can easily buy that and install it and test this. So when you configure your Hue system, you'll be downloading your Hue app on your phone. In there, you should be able to navigate to your settings, my Hue system. Then there you should be able to find the IP address. That is the IP address we are going to use in our application. You can also get that IP address from your meethue.com account and there you can find the internal IP address. I'm going to copy this IP address and paste it here. How can we get the username? Go to the same IP address and slash debug slash clip.html. And there in the URL section, enter slash API. In the message body section, mention the device type. You can enter like this. Then you can click the post button. You will get a response like this. Link button not pressed. At this time, go to your bridge and click this button. After clicking this button, click the post button, then you will get a response like this. Copy that and then paste it in your application. That is your username. After entering the username, you want to find the list of lights. To do that, I'm looping through lights. Hue.getLights will get you the list of lights installed 
in your house. Then you create slash light endpoint. In this, you are getting the light ID and the status. If the status is on, then turn on the light. If it's off, then turn off the light. If main app.run, then host 0, 0.0, .0 close the bracket. That's it. This will get the light ID and the status. Based on that, it will turn on or off the light. Now I'm going to run this in my local computer. Go to terminal, pip install hue SDK and flosk and click enter. Then python app.py and click enter. Now you can see the list of lights installed. White light, hue white lamp 2. Then it's running in port number 5000 with my local IP address dot five five. This is exactly the port number which I mentioned on my diagram here. So now we need to connect our router IP address 80 to 5000 using something called port forwarding, which you can do in your router. If you go to your router settings, generally router will be like 192.168.0.1 will be the URL. Go there and you should have something called port forwarding. In that, you're going to enter your application IP address, which we just saw. That is 192.168.55. I'm going to mention that there. Then my local port number is 5000. I'm going to enter that there as well. Then my external port is 80. That's why I entered the port number in the diagrams here so that you know these are intricacies in networking. I'm just showing a high level view. Then the protocol is TCP enabled on, then add the rule. Then you will have a rule like this listed there. Now we have linked 80 to 5000. So whenever GPT send a request to Ripplet, then the Ripplet will send a request to the public router. So when the router receives port number 80, it will automatically convert that to port number 5000 and send it to your local application. And this local application is connected to Hue Bridge, which controls the light. That's it. First, we created a GPT. Next, we created a public application as a proxy to redirect traffic to our local application. Locally, I'm uh, running an application here, which turns on light using the Hue Bridge SDK. Final step, you need to add schema in your GPT. Keep the application running in your local computer and also in Ripplet. This is the schema.json. So title is Hue Light Control. You are providing the URL. You can get this URL from Ripplet. So when you click this button here at the top corner in Ripplet, it will automatically open that URL. You can see that here. I'm just going to copy this and that will go in the schema. So the server's URL is that. Then after that, you have the paths. That is the endpoint what we created. We are creating a definition for the function which is running in our local host. That is local computer. So when the request come to slash light with the light ID and the status, then GPT will send a post request to our application accordingly. I've already covered this OpenAI schema in a complete separate video, step-by-step -step tutorial, which I will link that in the description below. So I'm going to copy this, go to our Lumina controller, then configure, and then click create new action. There you paste the schema. As soon as you paste the schema, you can see the control light with slash light endpoint will come. Just enter the previous URL, and now you can save it. Now we are going to ready to test our application. We are going to view the GPT, is Lumina controller. I'm going to enter turn off lights. Now it's starting the action, allow, and it's working behind the scenes. And it's talking to the API and the light has been successfully turned off. I'm going to turn on the light, turn on lights. Click allow and it turned on the light. That's it, as simple as that. Now you can customize your GPT to control appliances at your home. I'm going to create more videos in regards to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.